Hi, Lee Phillips here. I want to talk to you about estate taxes. I'm going to stick to the federal estate tax. Uh, we don't know what is going to happen to it under the Biden administration. But I want to tell you that you don't want the estate tax to go away. They've talked about doing away with the estate tax. That would be a disaster in many cases. For example, what you don't understand is in the estate tax, dad dies. He has $2 million worth of property. Nice house, bank account, car, uh, some good retirement funds, IRAs, $2 million. Bucks. Dad dies. He can pass a certain amount, and as of 2021, beginning of 2021 anyway, that's $11.58 million. It's a fair chunk. So he can pass that much property without having to pay an estate tax. Let me show you what's actually happening, though. Technically, the $2 million that Dad has is taxed. But the government gives you a credit. It gives you chips, funny money, monopoly money, whatever you want to call it. It gives you a tax credit. We actually call it a unified credit. Unification means that the gift tax and the estate tax are unified. So you can pass this much property and give it as a gift, or you can pass it when you die. And if I give a million dollars worth of gifts during my lifetime, then I don't get the full estate tax. I get the full estate tax less a million dollars. So everything is taxed and I use this credit, this funny money, these chips, to actually pay the tax. That's important because technically dad's two million dollars was taxed. Now, there was zero out of pocket for you because you used the chips, the unified credit, in order to pay the tax. And they give you enough chips, enough unified credit to pay the tax on the 11.58 or $11.6 million worth of property. So you're using the, the, the credit, you're paying the tax. Technically, everything is taxed when dad dies. The last time the IRS got its shot at dad's wealth was when dad died. So what happens is, is everything in dad's estate is taxed. Since it's taxed at the value that it was at on the day dad died, the property gets a step up in basis to that level. So dad paid $30,000 for his house 50 years ago. The house is now worth $500,000. Technically, there's $470,000 worth of gain when you go to sell a house. But wait a minute. The house was taxed at $500,000 when dad died, so it got a step up in basis to $500,000. And you go out next week after dad dies, you sell the house, $500,000, your gain is zero. Nothing, because it got that step up in basis. Now, look at what happens. If they do away with the estate tax, then nothing's going to get a step up in basis. You will pay the capital gains tax on the difference between the $30,000 that dad paid for the house and the $500,000 that you sold the house at after dad dies, you will have a tax. And they're talking about doing away with the capital gains tax too. So it may be ordinary income of $470,000. In Canada, they brag, we don't have an estate tax. Well, yeah, they've got a disposition tax. You are deemed to have sold all of dad's property on the day that he died and you get to pay income tax on the value that you would have gotten above the basis for the property when you sold it after dad died. So the government's getting your money one way or another. And this situation that we have right now where you can pass really a fair amount of money, there's like only 5,000 families in the United States 
that actually have to worry about estate taxes right now for the feds. Now, there are state e-state taxes, too, but uh, <laughs> we're just talking feds right now. So everything gets the step up in basis. You pay the, the estate tax with the credit. Nothing out of pocket. Everything got a step up in basis. You sell it after mom and dad die. Zero income. That's really a great deal for middle America right now. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but I'm going to keep you updated. So you'd better subscribe so that we'll send you out the, the little update notices whenever I put a new video out. And I appreciate all of you people being with me. We've got a lot of people now and, and you write me and, and tell me that I can explain things well and I appreciate that. Any support uh, is great. And suggest a topic. If I know something about it, I'll certainly do a YouTube. If I don't know anything about it, I'm not going to do a YouTube on it because my ignorance is profound, as I always say. So do subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.